okay okay so in the last class we developed one component using that component what we did is we were able to uh, communicate using the apex class okay so let me just try to open that component so we had an application so I believe it was hello application or might be this one oh okay uh, I think we were developing in your org uh, right Srinath uh, so I'll just log out okay you can uh, log in here so I will just log out okay uh, in the chat can you ping me the ID and the password so that I log in Oh, okay. Just open the developer console. Okay, okay. Mm. Hmm, this is the one, right? Okay, okay. Okay, so let me just open this application that we developed. And we have a controller here, demo helper. So let me open this controller as well. Okay, so this controller is also there. Okay, so what we were doing is uh, we have a component here. Okay, so using this component, what we were doing when we click on this action, so my action JavaScript method, this controller was connected to our Apex class and it was calling that. So we have a way uh, we have set up an action and in this action we have defined the apex method this is the method that we have to call okay okay and once uh, it calls so whatever the, the value is returned that value we are setting here okay so that response value that we are that value we are setting here okay and in the action we are just enqueuing that action inside the nq action so that is that is all we are doing. Okay, so what we will do today is just we will expand this class. So uh, instead of just giving some static message, we will try to do something meaningful okay so in the apex class what we can do is we can write soql inside the apex class and that we can develop or that we can display in our application okay and this this component we can also put inside our uh, our page maybe a home page or the account page or anywhere we want so let me just open the application also here i'll
okay so we can edit the page and we can also put it put that component inside this and we can get a uh, whatever uh, value we are displaying here that we can see here also okay so instead of demonstrating that in a harness app or any other demo app we can put that inside our our main application okay inside the page okay okay so let's get moving so instead of putting a system dot debug and instead of returning the this static string what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this uh, make this application or make this uh, sorry uh, apex class return a list of accounts okay so everybody familiar with accounts as uh, uh, sorry list okay so list is something like what um okay so this is a list here okay just like that i'm going to create a list of accounts i'm going to retrieve uh, these accounts from the database and i'm going to show that account in the uh, show the list of accounts in the in the page okay okay so i'm still not accepting any parameter so i have not uh, passed any parameter so set param set parameters that we were discussing yesterday that we will not be doing as of now so we can do that also okay so what i'll be doing is i'll be just simply uh, in the apex class i'll be simply creating one list okay so that list we'll call something like list of account okay we'll create a list of account and i'll call it maybe my list or maybe acc list okay equals to i'll put something like i'll write a sql query here and in this query i'll write uh, let's say select a uh, name comma uh, Mm, type comma mm, whatever other fields are there that we can retrieve from the account and then we can say from account so this will definitely return us a list of accounts okay just to test that if this is working or not we can put this in our query editor and see if this is retrieving any list or not okay so yes this is working so if i want some more fields let me just go to my setup here and let me see what other fields are there in the account so that i can retrieve them okay okay so to work with the setup or, or to retrieve or what or to check out what are the fields there in that object we have to go to the object manager so once we are in the setup then we go to the object manager and from the object manager we can check out what all the ob objects Okay, so we have the list of all the objects that is there in the system and from this we can see the list okay so we can just click on this account and it will show us what buttons are there what fields and relationships are there okay what approval process triggers validation rules all that we can see so I'm, i want to see the field so i can check out click on the field okay and these are the fields so we have account name number owner okay so all these are there so i'll just take out these uh, api names and using the second retrieve okay so we have name account number owner id so i will just go ahead and name type what else we have account number number and what else we have uh, let's say description employees facts or maybe phone i can choose okay that's enough these many enough okay so i'll be creating a list and i'll be retrieving a list of records and then i'll be returning this list of record from my apex class okay pretty simple okay okay so in my class it is going to return a list of account okay so that is why the return return type have changed from a, a string to a list of account okay and it is not going to return this apex it is going to return i can i don't even have to create a list i can just directly return that list of records from here so i can write the query inside this okay select name type and what are the things like you can have fax we can have phone whatever fields you require that you can add from here okay okay so here a list of uh, accounts is going to return so i have returned a list of account here 
okay so there is some problem here let me check what is the problem but I'll make this as a static method only okay, okay. list of account oops okay now this is fine so i'll make it as static because in order to call this method i don't need to create any uh, any any object okay that is why i've made it as a static so i can directly call it using the class name okay so to call any static method we need the class names we, i can i can just type demo helper dot and my method that's it i'll be able to call this method okay just because of that i've made this method as a static method okay so now whenever i call this method okay i'm going to get a list of records just to check that out i can just call this method from my anonymous window also okay just to check it out so instead of calling it from uh, like my method i will call it as let's say demo helper because this is the class name class name dot the method name okay now when I do this, it is going to return me the list of accounts. Now if I am to display that list of accounts, I will just do one system dot debug and inside the debug I will put this list of records. Now I will just try to execute the highlighted part and let me see what happens. Okay, now if I execute the highlighted part, I will get debug log with the list of all the accounts. Okay, this account list I have to display in my page maybe home page or account page wherever I can I can just edit page and I can add that application so I have not developed the complete application we are on the way okay so that means that our method is working it's returning a list of accounts so so far we are good okay now this method I have to call from our component so for that I need a controller so in the controller we are calling so Okay, Srinath, uh, are you are you able to follow till now? Okay, okay. You can always stop me if you have any doubts or any questions. Okay. Okay. Let's go. okay. okay okay so what we are going to do instead of setting uh, action callback here I can just remove okay this alert is fine but uh, component dot set so instead of having a single uh, string attribute here we need to have an attribute which is which should be able to accept a list of accounts okay so when we were trying to create attributes I have shown that we can also create a list of uh, attribute which can ex accept an array as well okay so I'm going to comment this first part okay I'm going to comment because we don't need this message attribute anymore so what we need is a we need an attribute to be able to accept a list of accounts so for that I'll just try to an aura attribute okay we'll put one name uh, equals to let's say ACC or we can call it as uh, account list okay and we will put as a type type equals to we will give account bracket that is it okay so our attribute is ready now this attribute is going to retrieve a list of accounts okay uh, not retrieve it's it it is capable of accepting a list of accounts okay and it will be able to hold that account in this account list okay so this account list I have to set using the controller so now I need this account name this account list name I need I have to update so instead of setting the v message v message does not exist anymore so I'll change the v message to account list so whatever response my method is giving so my method c dot my method whatever response it's giving that I'm setting to the account list so the response that we are getting from there is a list of accounts so we are getting a list of accounts this list of account I am setting to the response okay and that I'm uh, inserting inside the account list 
okay any doubt in this I, I able to follow this okay okay good okay that's why I'm going like a little slow that's okay okay so we are able to set that now let's let's see how we can display a list of records okay if we had a single account okay if we had a single account okay then we could have displayed simply this v dot attribute directly we could have displayed okay let's try with single record only okay let's try with a single one first okay so, I'll, so instead of retrieving a list of whole records i'll just put one limit here limit one so this will give me only one record and that one record i, I can set it inside this account okay so that i can just directly show okay i'll i'll show you what is the difference between uh, like displaying one record and displaying a list of records okay i'll show you the difference okay 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 so so far so good so far fine okay now if i have to display this i just have to write v dot account list okay now let me see what 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 uh, we are getting okay so i'll just update the preview and i'll go to our aura and let's see what happens so as of now i'm not getting anything here okay because why we are not getting anything because it is showing us then uh, the field so this is just an object in the object we have different different fields so we have to write those fields using a dot notation okay so if you want to display we have to put v dot name okay what other fields we have displayed uh, i'll put one uh, space here like break okay so so we had name and apart from the name we had phone we had type and we had fax i believe that should be right okay name fax phone and type okay okay so these are the ones that we have so to display that in order to display that we need to write that individually using the dot notation okay so which field we have to display now if we, if we go and we have to up, uh, just refresh let's see what happens okay so those fields are coming as blank okay name type count let's see if we are getting any value from here okay we'll put this in a query editor and we'll check it out okay so we are supposed to get this one but we are not getting that value so we'll check out what is the problem why we are not able to get that okay so even our callback is not getting called okay because we did not get this alert okay, even this alert is not displayed that means it is not getting called okay so there's something wrong here okay if we refresh this so our callback method is also not called okay that means there is some kind of link breaking okay so we can check out what is the problem okay so component dot set v dot account list response dot get return value Okay, that is fine this function response c dot my method so the name of this method is my method only that is fine okay my action oh, 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 oh. still this is getting called and then we are component dot set account list response dot get return value that we are setting to the account list mm. and queue our action hmm. this is working fine this is working fine com dot set account list 
this is working fine can give action mm. on click list list type of account mm. okay let's check it out now call that is getting called but it's not displaying anything mm. why is that so Okay. Check out if that has made any difference. When I click, callback is called. Oops, still nothing. Mm. Account list. account list this list okay we'll check out this is correct mm. okay this is fine to one system dot debug our apex method is called just to check out whether this method is getting called or not so I'll put one system dot debug log also so that it will come in the log section so that I can know that this method is getting called okay okay now let me try to just refresh this one more time okay now if that method is getting called then we'll get a log also so callback is called so now we'll, we should get one log in our system.debug log okay when I open this log okay so now debug only now the apex method is also getting called so that is fine so if apex method is getting called then it is that means that it is returning this limit and this returning uh, returning this method or returning all the list type facts for one account list okay this is working fine now in the javascript also the alert is getting called and it is setting our account list to response okay let me check it out like this alert mm, com dot get the dot account list okay let me see what is the value it, which it comes here okay okay so when i click on this <coughs> so it's showing us null oh now it's showing us object object okay So if it's showing object only, that means there is an object which is getting set here. So one object is getting set here. So our our uh, attribute is not blank. So that means it, this method is getting called, and this JavaScript method is calling that. Okay, and it is returning value also. It is also setting this value. So because this component dot set is working, that's why we are getting this as not null. Okay, so this is not null. So it's setting one value in the account list. So that is fine In this so far we have we are able to achieve that now when we are setting this it is also getting set so that means we have some issue with displaying here 
so we are not able to display that okay okay let's try to Why is it not displaying? Mm. Okay, let's try to do something like maybe we'll try to put one output. Okay. So lightning, we'll use the lightning namespace, lightning output. Okay. Okay. So let's try to use an output field and let's see if that output field is going to display anything for us. That is not required, but I'm not sure why this is not getting called. Even the method is getting called, the component also the value is getting set but it is not displaying it here something is wrong hmm. okay let's check it out This is not going to help. Okay, let's check out iteration. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll send out a list of records only. Okay, so instead of sending type of account, so we'll send out a list of accounts only. Okay, and we'll try to display the list of accounts. Okay, so instead of that, we'll remove the limit here. We'll get all the list of accounts okay so that is as it is this one should also be as it is not required now here what we will do is we will put one iteration why we are putting iteration because if we want to display more than one record okay if you want to display more than one record then for that we need one iteration okay like in visual force pages you need a table right you have to have a bare you need one table in table we have to create a wait I'll, uh, Shrikant, uh, Srinath can I, can I give you a call on your phone Okay, just give me one second, I will call you. Hi Shriyat, can you hear me? Okay, okay, then that's fine. Okay, so what we are going to do now is I'll try to retrieve a list of records. Okay, and this list of records I will try to display. So to display a single record, you can display like that. But if you want to display it uh, like multiple records, then you have to do it using iteration. Okay, iteration is like displaying a table, which uh, like you have a table in Visual Force uh, pages, right? So like that. Here we have iteration or iteration. Okay, so we are going to use or a iteration. Okay, so in the or iteration, 
how we have to do we just need to give the items what is the items just like table so we have to give the list of items and then we need one small variable using which we can denote it here okay 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 so we'll give aura iteration and here we'll put our attribute as items in this it is able capable of accepting a list so collection of data we can put inside the items okay okay so we will put items okay equals to and in this we can put our list v dot account list okay so item is there and now we need one small variable so small variable equals to we'll make it as let's say a okay now inside this or iteration we can write something like let's say we can write v dot uh, oh sorry no yeah dot name then we give our okay so a dot name and phone and then we have fax then we have type okay let's check it out okay okay now we come back to our aura and now we'll just refresh this okay now when we click okay let's see what happens okay so the list of record is getting displayed but it's getting displayed in a very bad format okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give one uh, space here so how you can give one space you can give something like nbsp uh, yeah I think it's NBSP only so let me just check it out NBSP in HTML uh, oops HTML NBSP hmm yep it's that NBSP only so I am present NBSP and then semicolon we have to give so this will put up a space here okay so we put one multiple spaces here and in every line we'll put these spaces so that it will be more readable okay so we'll put it here we'll put it here okay and after that we are going to put one break so that we will get one next line so we put one break so all this is nothing but html only okay okay now let's check out our aura and let's see how it is looking like now when we click on this click OK so our list of record is getting displayed here okay so we are getting the name uh, sorry we are getting the name and then we are getting the phone we are getting the fax and we are getting the type so for these for this second record the phone and the fax is not there so that is why it's showing blank so for this one the phone is there so whatever values are there it is displaying those values okay but this format is very bad so if, if you want it's not very uh, it does not look good so if you want we can use our SLDS card okay and inside the SLDS card we can put this information okay and then we can use our SLDS so that will be looking like uh, it will look much better okay so instead of using a click me uh, what I am going to use is I'll go uh, I'll go ahead and use a lightning uh, button okay or yeah I can use a lightning button here okay so I'll put one lightning button okay I'll just check out the format how do you use the lightning button what are the attributes so in the lightning button you have you will just define one lightning button here okay, lightning okay did you get the use of this iteration like why we are using iteration because we have multiple records to handle right we are going to display a table so that's why we are we are using this iteration 
okay 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 and you got this nbsp and this break yeah it's esteem simple esteem okay so in our uh, lightning button i think it's click only or oh, on click only okay so we have on click on click all lower case yes all lower case equals to so in this on click i can just give the name of the method c dot uh, so our controller my action okay so that my action is coming here okay and then i'll give one label that will be name of the button so um, account list or i can say show account list something like that okay i think that should be okay yeah so this much is fine so i'm going to call that method using this particular button Okay, now if I refresh our aura, so our button is there, but it is not displaying it in a SLDS format. Maybe because I have not used a force colon enable SLDS. Okay, so so I'm going to use force colon um, SLDS. One second. How do you use that? Force colon SLDS. Okay, just we have to use extends equals to force colon SLDS. So here we have to use extends equals to but this we have to put inside the quotes force colon SLDS. Okay, now our aura should be able to display it in a SLDS format. Okay. Okay, now let me try to click this button instead of this. So if I click this button, same alert is getting generated, alert is getting generated and our list of records is getting retrieved and it is displaying that list of record. It is coming the same line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one break here. So one line break I'll put here also. So that the next thing will come in the next line, BR space, okay. Okay, now when I click on this account list so that list is coming in the next line okay so what I'm going to do to display this list of record I'm going to make it a little formatted using our SLDS card okay so we have something called SLDS card which looks like a uh, like a, a visiting card only where you can put different different components so I'll use that SLDS card okay okay so this is what the SLDS card will look like okay it will have a header it will have a footer and this it will have a box and then it will have a body it will have a title also here so all these things we can use so I'm going to use this class is equal to SLDS card okay so I will put this inside one all of them we will put it inside one article or we can have something like span you know about span what about a span is Okay, okay, then we'll leave span. You know div, right? Div. In HTML, you create divs, right? Yeah, so that we are going to use here. Okay, so we'll create a div. Okay, and this div we can use in, you can put the whole thing inside this div. Okay, now just to use that class, okay, we have to use one class equals to Okay, now we can use this SLDS card class. Okay, so we can put our SLDS card here. We'll do a little bit of formatting to make it look pretty. Okay. Okay, now let me come back to our aura and let's try to refresh and let's see what changes we see. Okay, now when I click this button, click OK now it is going to display everything inside the card okay so but it is all coming in the same line so I'm going to do some more formatting that depends on the your usage so <clears throat> using the card you can use something like header so it will come in a header format then you can if you want some icons you can also use one icon also so like this icon you can put from the SLDS icon only 
or if you want so here they have used svg icon that is fine we, we are going to use sLDS icon only okay the icon that I, I showed you that day that is the icon okay okay now after that we have something called footer is also there we don't need a footer as of now okay so we'll use these divs also okay so let's try to check it out so class sld is called header so header should be used here so what's a span span is like div only in what what's a div div is like a division it's like a small section that we are creating okay so here it is creating one div okay so every div has its own line so just like that we have something called span also okay so we can that is also html only okay so, so the span is also like an html so you can have each of the boxes inside one span okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one span here so why i'm using the span because using the span i can use one class okay i have to put the class somewhere right okay fine i'm not going to use a span i'm going to use one div only okay so i'm going to remove this i'm going to use div okay and this is okay okay so i'm going to use one div so all of them i'll put inside one div okay so okay okay so now i want to use the uh, this class inside our div okay so i'll put that class here if I want, I can also include that class from my own uh, uh, what you call CSS. Okay, I can I add my CSS class and I can add that here also. Okay, that also I can do. Okay, so that also we'll do in one of these components. So let's say if I have okay, so here I've given header. So name will be in the bolder format. So name is a header. Okay. Now apart from that, we have something called media body is for the icon okay let's try to use media body also so let's try to put one icon also along with that so before our div or oh, after the header they have used we'll put before our header no problem so we'll put one uh, lightning or we'll put one div inside this div we'll put one lightning icon I've uh, shown you how to use the lightning icon right SLDs icon okay okay so I'll put one lightning icon okay so let me just check it out here the format lightning icon okay so lightning icon so just to use one icon name so icon name this icon name I can pick it up from SLDS icons okay here they have used one action approval icon so I can use this icon icon also so I can action approval icon okay and we I can put, put one uh, size also so I'll put one size as small okay S M A L L. so our smell is there okay this is fine now this class I have to give it as media body okay so this class oops, where did it go okay so this class I have to use as this media body okay SLDS media figure okay so this I will copy from here okay so I will give one class equals to we put this okay and all these things let's let's let me try to create one CSS and all for all these I'll create I'll uh, add CSS class only okay so I'll go to my style okay and in the main thing I'll put one let's say background color okay back ground hyphen color put one colon and oops I made a spelling mistake background color uh, let's put something like uh, let's gray okay and this is this is the uh, for common this is common for everything so the whole aura will have that background color okay but I want to create individual classes so what I'm going to do is I'll put one dot this space or no space dot uh, let's say um, background 
okay now i'll open this bracket and i'll put something like maybe color so i'll i'll change the color of the text color mm, let's make it let's say blue i'll make it blue okay okay now let's check it out how it looks like what it looks like so this background class i have to use inside my component so here i have to give this class equals to this okay equals to equals to okay now i have saved it now let me see what it looks like okay well i'll just refresh okay so by default the gray background is coming here okay now if i click on this oh let me remove this alert so this alerts are not needed anymore this was just for debug purpose so i'll go ahead and remove these alerts so call by called is not required anymore this alert is also not required anymore so i'll just save it and i will refresh it okay now when i click this let's see what happens so our list of account is getting called list of records are getting called okay and every every one of them so iteration what iteration is doing it's like iterating through the whole list okay so whole list is getting iterated so if i give something like okay so the whole it's going through all the whole list and it is displaying it from top to bottom okay so that is why it is uh, so all of all the components that we have used okay the name the phone number the fax all of them are like or uh, the icons all of them are getting iterated one by one okay and the color is not getting applied here why is that so mm. this class we have used as background only and color we have changed to blue but it is not applying okay let me try to remove the space here so to refresh this okay now i'm okay so now it is getting applied as blue okay okay so so far is that is that is that clear so far okay 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 so, so i think so far we are good so in the next class what i'll be doing is i'll be using a handlers okay we don't have to click any method to load this whole thing okay so as of now what else we can do if we want we can also put this inside our uh, quick action okay let's say if we have one uh, our home page okay in the home page what we want is we want to display a list of the whole account okay we want to display it like that okay then what we can do we can uh, let's say we can add one quick action so how do we add one quick action we just have to go to maybe account or something okay so we can go to account okay and we go to our any of the accounts so let's say in all the account pages i want to put one tab here and inside the tab i want one quick action to happen so whenever i click on that so that component should be getting called okay so all that we can do only after we click on the we we, we use handlers okay because here we have we have a dependency here we have to click the button to get the list of records okay so when we study handler that is when automatically it will load and automatically it will retrieve all the records so we don't need a click in order to add that okay so here what i am going to do is i am going to edit this page and i'll try to add that component that we just displayed uh, that we just developed okay so i go to lightning app builder and from here i can get the the standard or the custom application that we developed so it was demo account so let it display then i'll just drag it and drop it somewhere okay so what i can also do is i can add a tab here so I'm going to click on this 
so from when you click on this then this particular component is highlighted so now it's under the page when you click on this our highlights panel is getting highlighted when you click on this part so this 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 part is getting displayed okay like that so we will come back to our main part here okay and there are three tabs already we will add another tab okay and inside the tab we will go we are going to put that component that we just developed so as of now by default it has given some name we will just discard that we will use a custom name and here we will have something called list of accounts okay and so our tab will be created so list of account tab is created now inside the list of account tab there is nothing so we are going to add one component our demo account so we are going to drag it and we are going to drop it inside here okay so now our button is created i don't like this click me html i'm going to remove this click me also this paragraph i'm going to remove okay so i just commented that that will not be displayed anymore okay now if i go ahead and if i save it let's see what it looks like okay so it is getting saved now it is saved activation is also happening you can just click on activation mm, okay fine this is okay now we go to back okay so now in the accounts tab Okay, so we have a tab called list of accounts when we go to this list of accounts we get a button so in this button when we click on this then we are a list of accounts should be displayed here so it is getting displayed but this i i don't like this that we have to click on a button to display the list of records so automatically it should load so that automatic loading that we can handle using our onload handler okay so that onload handler we'll see tomorrow okay so whenever you refresh the page or whenever the page is loaded automatically our our component will be our, our apex method will be called javascript method will be called and all the functionality will happen automatically on load of the page you don't have to click it manually to display all these things okay okay so that we'll do step by step so that we'll see tomorrow okay so what i want you to do is i want you to create a application or maybe a component like that okay so create a component which is going to accept a list of opportunities okay instead of account go for opportunities display the opportunity uh, opportunity all the fields of the or maybe some three four fields of the opportunity in one SLDS card or you can choose any of the SLDS other things also like you can choose something maybe uh, you can have uh, You can use icon or uh, it uh, menus also okay so inside the menu or you can also use you can use some no no not this one mm, you can use data tables okay so you can use data table something like this so here each table will display a list of uh, all the fields opportunity name will be there opportunity account name will be there close date stage so like this you can display okay so try to use this date tables data table okay uh, Shrina? yeah so yes instead of account you just create an opportunity okay so then you can create a table if oh it's like a little long that is fine you can you can display it in form of cards only that is okay Okay, whichever way you are comfortable so the basic logic is that you should be able to retrieve records from the database and you should be able to display that okay that is what i want this this styling is not very important the styling we can see later also this is up to you okay so you can display it inside the card only card also no problem or maybe if you want badges you can use badges badges should be simple yeah. Okay, so you can use badge also, or so in, instead of or you can use alert. No, that will get a little complicated. Okay, you use uh, this card only. Card is pretty simple. Okay, and you display a list of opportunities for me. Okay, so you can use on click of a button also as of now. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so okay. As of now, uh, so far, you have any doubts, any questions, anything you want to add? It's pretty simple. Okay. Okay, okay, then that's good. Okay, so try to create this. Okay, and let me know if you have any issues. Okay, I'll. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. I'll upload this video in the Google Drive. Okay. Okay, then. Okay. I'll see you then again tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye.